What's up everybody? Welcome to another video. Today we're on the road with my mom. She's right beside me. Uh, we've been driving for about an hour and 40 minutes and we're headed to meet our buddy Tony. Tony, I hit up super last minute and I was like, dude, my mom, every time I talk to her about fly fishing, all she does is want to talk about sturgeon. And I'm 20 years old. I love all sorts of fishing and I've never even tried to catch a sturgeon. So this is awesome. Tony has been super, super welcoming. We are about 20 minutes from Tony. We've been driving again for almost, it'll be a total of about two hours. And we woke up nice and early. It's 8.48, nice cloudy day. It's about 58, 60 degrees. And um, we're gonna see if we can catch a sturgeon. We are in Idaho and uh, this is gonna be interesting. This is mainly for my mom. I want her to catch one, but if I can get one, that'd be great too. Okay, here's Tony behind me. Just met Tony and his buddy, and we're going to run down the road to our first spot. Wet a line there, see if they're biting, and if not, we're just gonna keep moving. So, Tony's a great guy. He's got a bunch of dead carp and trout in the back of his truck, and they stink. He's been letting, he caught fish yesterday and has just been letting him sit in the back of his truck because we're using that as bait. Why is that used to do that? Because I guess just the smell is good. But sturgeon and sturgeon eat off the bottom. So we're gonna use dead carp and trout as bait. Let's go. Like pieces of it? Yeah, like guts and pieces. No, that, okay. I think we're just not doing <laughs> A little rigged up, but. Little trout head. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Gross. So that's your, what do you think? That's your Gross? Basic legal setup right What's there. yellow thing is? That's it, huh? That's oh, we're slinging? Yep. Here, wait, really quick. Show me this up here. Oh, so basically, in order to be legal in Idaho. Okay. <clears throat> so, how this works is you have to have a weight that slides up and down your main line freely. The weight itself has to be on a dropper tag that is lighter pound test than your main line and your leader. Wow. So that way if you do hook a fish, it breaks. It, it breaks off and then all that fish has to carry around is just the leader. Not a massive weight. Tell me about this, your rig that you make, your rigs, really quick. Oh, so basically this is just a only fins fly and tackle leader. This is 150 pound reaction tackle mono. This is a double aught spinning glow setup and in the current what happens is this thing just sits there and spins it adds vibration and it basically gives those fish something else to key in on because sturgeon have thousands of electroreceptors in their nose like a shark and they have the longest lateral line of any freshwater fish in north america so you get a little bit of scent plus a little bit of vibration and what happens is in my opinion anyway you end up with a much more aggressive take because that fish recognizes this as something that's potentially alive but wounded sitting on the bottom Dude, and those sturgeon so cool. then therefore will be a little bit more aggressive with how they eat it. Have you seen many other people with a, like a vibration type rig like that? No, typically this is a salmon and steelhead rig. Where can I find this rig? Uh, so you get this from me at Only Fins Fly and Tackle over on Facebook. You can Dude, shoot that's me a message. Nuts. Um, or you can find me on Instagram, flyfishing underscore buckaroo. Dude, Tony's got it figured out. Let's and see if we can get bit. And if you're looking to make <laughs> these yourself, Look up Tackle Bandit Hooks, Reaction Tackle Mono. There you go. Go to Sportsman's, get yourself some spinning glows, and we're gonna send it. Right in the money. The positive bite is gonna look something like this. Basically, the tip of your rod is gonna do this number. And you'll know it's a sturgeon versus like a pike minnow or a sucker because a pike minnow will hit really hard like this. It'll yeah. be real, real sharp, it's like fast like slow and aggressive, or sl fast and aggressive. Yep, whereas a sturgeon, it'll just be like a... Like a slow kind of it'll knock. Be, it'll, be more of a, it'll be more of a thump rather than a, a sharp tap. Yeah. And then <clears throat> that would be a positive bite, whereas a negative bite, what'll happen is it'll just kind of look like this, but what'll happen is the line will start to go slack, and what's going on is that sturgeon has picked that bait up and is trying to swim upstream with it. So when that happens, then we gotta pick it up, we gotta feel, make sure he's there, reel down till we feel that pressure, and then we set the hook. Yeah, that's exactly right.
Do you mean to reel this one up? Oh my god. This one's not terrible. <laughs> <laughs> or put it up on like, like oh, right here. It's a little guy, but we'll take him. Oh my goodness. All right, it's picture time. Okay. Guy, but that's okay. He's not that little. Come look at him. Oh, he's beautiful. Nines, do you look so, really closely? So sturgeon actually don't have bones at all. No way, or no, whatever no, that is. like a ray or a skate. They only have cartilage. Cartilage only? Yep. Flip him upside down and he's perfectly calm. Barbless hook, just like that. Yeah, and that's, you know, that's a, that's a requirement here in Idaho for barbless hooks, but, that isn't you know, it has to do with the safety of the fish. That hook just let him swim off. Oh. <laughs> nice work, dude. That was on your cast, the one he was crapping for you on. <laughs> Mom, was that cool? So cool. How long was that one? Oh, that was only about 30 inches. Yeah. Like three feet? A little under, but yeah. 30, 30. We were just talking about how ancient these fish were with Tony, and then legitimately, right away, we saw a little, it was a small bite. Small bite, and then it just took off with it, and as you saw, he ripped into it. My mom got her first sturgeon, and uh, they're reeling up the lines right now. We're gonna go get in a boat, float a little bit downstream. I think. I so. Oh, there's a bite. Oh no. Yeah, never mind. They're tangled. <laughs> I thought it was a bite from over here. I couldn't see the line. Uh, we're gonna float down, and Tony's pretty confident we're gonna hook up floating down. Uh, maybe get a little bit bigger one. First one we caught was like three feet, but cool creature, huh, mom? So cool. Look like catfish, just a little bit. <laughs> I looked like a catfish, she says. Give myself a little bit better opportunity here just because I feel like I need to. We're going to take this and we're going to put a chunk of bait on this guy. Can I see it? Whoa, that's freaking cool. Just like that. Just a little bit of love and scent. Mm -hmm. And then all you're going to do is really simple from here. So I'm going to jump on the motor. See those marks right there? See those? Those are all sturgeon right there. Yeah, all of those. Yep. Holy cow. Hold on.
Oh my gosh. He's right underneath for the most part. For a minute. You wanna feel him? Here. Here, mom. Take it. You have to be very strong. Hold on to this rod. And, and keep, keep seating. Keep seating. Oh, sit real, sit real, down, real, sit real, down. Real, 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 real. Nice. Can't lose tightness. Oh. <laughs> Second. There you go. <laughs> okay. This so okay, just wait. Look. Come up like this with him and then reel down. There you go. You got it! Hold on! Hold on strong! You can't reel, just hold on. Just hold on. Hold on. You got it! Hold on strong! Hold on. Put that underneath your leg back there. Hold on. There you go. Use your legs. He's just towing her around. Oh, dude, it's still dogging. Oh, yeah. He's lining the boat! Reel, 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 reel. There you go. Good, 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 good. Real, 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 real. Real, 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 real. He's leaning the boat. So good. Okay, again, guys, it's too hard. You wanna switch? Uh, <laughs>